And joining us now with his perspective on this issue is Republican State Senator Ryan Fazio from District 36. Uh, Senator, it's good to see you again. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks again for having me. Listen, the push to have convicted felons vote from behind bars has, has really been a tough sell in the state to date. Where do you stand on the issue? Well, I'm against it. I think that the vast majority of residents across Connecticut would be against it. It's kind of common sense that um, if you commit a crime, if you have the due process, if you have your civil liberties, and you're still convicted by a jury of your peers for a very serious crime, like murder or rape, you have to pay restitution to society, and that includes giving up some of your privileges for the time being. Connecticut is already one of a minority of states that automatically gives back voting rights to felons who have paid their time, uh, who have paid their dues, and who are released from prison. I think that's more reasonable, the status quo is more reasonable than going as far as only two other states and allowing felons to vote from prison. I don't think it's reasonable. I don't think it's moderate. The ACLU feels that allowing this will actually help combat voter disenfra disenfranchisement. Should that even be a consideration for people serving time for violent crimes? I think that's a subordinate issue, as you say, to um, whether or not we are actually pursuing justice for, again, the, the convicted felon population includes murderers, includes rapists, um, but also consider in the only two states where they actually have full voting rights for felons in prison, that the voter turnout was only 6% and 8% in Vermont and Maine. So where there was the ability to vote, yeah, those prisoners did not avail themselves of it even at a 10% rate. Some political pundits uh, have actually painted this as a largely partisan issue, in addition to being an ideological issue. There was a study back in 2019 uh, finding that felons are four times as likely as non-felons to be Democrats or politically unaffiliated. So should that be part of this conversation? Uh, I didn't know that. Um, I guess maybe it's not that much uh, of a surprise, but it's definitely not the reason why you should make the policy one way or the other. I think first and foremost, it's a matter of justice and people who are convicted of a very, very serious offense like rape or murder, paying full restitution to society um, for a period of time. Uh, and then also um, the fact that when we do reacclimate um, people who have paid their dues to society, that that is when you see a full um, reward um, of your, of your rights back uh, as a normal citizen of society. And we want prisoners who have paid their dues, who are released to reacclimate, reintegrate into society. And that's when you, um, you get your voting rights back. Again, for felons, felons who are in prison are the only class of people in this case who do not have their full voting rights. People who are convicted of a misdemeanor in prison are able to vote, people who are um, have served their time and are released. Uh, former convicted felons um, get their uh, rights to vote back in Connecticut. Yeah. I think that's the reasonable, moderate approach, but allowing people in prison for felonies, including rape and murder, is a bridge too far. State Senator Ryan Fazio, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your time. Thanks again. All right, keep it right here on Power and Politics, political showdown.